Now, I'm not going to put actives on the save, because if I do, then people in the YouTube comments on the video will be like, Sir, we see that you shifted things. You were obviously secretly using the actives and then cutting the video so that no one can tell. And you know how it is. You got to prepare. Actually, to start this, let me check around the nearby area for money. There's gas there. Okay, that's uh, underwhelming. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a little bit more to pick up on the ground nearby. Give me that nice little kickstart like they did on Steps of the Right. But I guess we're not getting lucky today. Well, we're going to get the one gas. Because any gas is good gas. Then head back home. Look at that, we're rich. What a dumb line. I can't get over that line every time I play this mission. It's just so bad. Oh, gosh. Hi. Oh my gosh, a photon cannon! Oh no! Why was there sneaky cannon? Okay, so the zealots are gonna go kill the cannon and then kill each other? While we do this, and apparently I need more dudes. I probably need, like, four stalkers for that first attack wave, because that's pretty scary. Where do I want to be positioned? Probably at the top of the ramp? Oh, they have speed, yeah. There we go. No problemo. Now, unfortunately, because of the way this mission works, I can't really attack the bases until I'm able to kill them. Because they have those infinitely spawning rifts, and unlike in co-op... Hi. Are we fighting again so soon? That's good to know. Unlike in co-op, the rifts that spawn units are not killable. They just keep popping stuff out as soon as you trigger them. And that's... Uh, it means I have to be very passive at the beginning, I guess. I'm going to try to get a forge to start getting my upgrades very soon. I think I'm only going to need one forge because I know for a fact this mission is probably going to go to, like, the one hour mark or something. And that's enough time to get 333 three, three off of one forge. It'll take longer. Scarlet vs. Need Game 1 or the host. Oh, did they have a super long game? Neeb is the macro boy. He's legally obligated to build. Or to turtle. 43 minutes? Oh, that's not bad. One thing that I always find funny is that in the super turtle PVZs, for some reason the internet always blames Protoss for it. It's like Sky Toss causes these stall out games, and then the Zerg is. I mean, they're doing it too. But it takes two to tango. But it's always the Protoss' fault. Then again, it is Neeb, so I, I will say that it's probably Neeb's fault, as someone who has no idea what's happening in that game. Okay, we're getting flanked. I like Neeb. This is a really bad opening. I took a bad fight here. Isn't tearing the race that grinds games to the halt? Not really. Uh, you don't see that too much in professional play. The only really... I guess T.Y. and Maru are players that will 
gladly grind the game to a super, super long macro stage, but the majority of Terran players are people that don't really know what the double digit mark is on the clock. Detecting a large number of void entities inbound on our nexus point. Yeah, fun fact, Neeb actually has the lowest number of games played of all pros in StarCraft. However, his playtime is actually one of the highest, because his average game length is about 60 to 70 years. And I'm absolutely going to steal his builds when I play on ladder, because I love it. Bit afraid of this. Yeah, okay, my feeling was correct. The reason that I decided to engage at the ramp is because I was scared of a potential siege tank attack, and I was correct, so I forced them to siege, and then I can pull back. Now, they're going to lose their vision, right? No. There we go. Then they unsiege, and we got them. How many channel points is it for me versus literally any pro? Uh, I haven't thought about that. I mean, it's not really a channel point redemption thing because I'd have to get the pro to do it. Also, I would die because I don't know any ladder builds because I don't play the ladder. How much supply do I need? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chill here until the next attack. And then I'm going to dive this area and try to take my expansion. I did. I did play against Sol. I lost 1-2 against him. He's a good player. Professional Terran player from uh, Poland, I believe. And that was the last time that I played a 1v1 game outside of the arcade. That wasn't an attack, by the way. Oh, this is an attack. Okay. It was part of a greater whole. I'm going to save and give this a go, because if I can get my expansion up, then I'll be happy. It's so hard to fight this area. Artemis, there are several locations surrounding Amon's form that would serve as excellent forward outposts. Is this an attack? Enemy, and our forces will provide or is it just warped in reinforcements? I can't even tell. Okay, start putting damage on the Void Rift. Kill the guys that warp in as they warp in. We're going to get it, and the losses weren't too bad. I'm out of gas. One thing to note is that these Void Shards are not armored, which means the Stalkers do horrible damage against them. They look like they should be armored, but I guess that Immortals were probably melting them and testing too quickly, so they removed that tag. They're just structures. Which means the only unit in the game that does bonus damage against them is the Wrath Walker. I just need to target it down. I have to pull back home. That's a weird little attack. I guess if I can get on top of the Thor, that's actually pretty nice. Nice. So the Lings did a dumb right there, and it really helped. You shall all serve. I bring order. Hyrock, we're tracking multiple flying entities heading for our nexus point. We are. 
Am I going to be getting the allies on this mission? I'm going to try it without. But then, if I have to, I'll get them. But I would prefer to not. Which way are they coming? Uh, I feel like they're swinging down here. Where it has more views than ESL SC2B. The B streams never get the views they deserve. I've always found that really sad because there's often incredible casters and incredible games, but then because it's a B stream, just nobody watches. And that sucks. How many Raven Seeker missiles do they have? We gotta make sure the Ravens don't get away, because they will just recharge their energy and come and kill me again. Of course they have Seeker missiles this time. Anytime that you think a Raven won't be able to kill your entire army in one shot, they will prove you wrong very quickly. So anything that is not a Void Dude won't respawn, I believe. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's how it works, so I can go and clear those, open up the map, that kind of thing. I'm going to put a spotter pylon over there. Because I think the way that I die is via counterattacks mostly. Yeah, making this place nice and open feels better. I just want to be able to def Why did I blink away from a hatchery? <laughs> Am I that stupid? Oh gosh, they're coming from multiple angles. I don't have enough stuff to defend all these places at once yet. Okay. They're avoiding the expansion. That's really good. There was an attack indicator there, but it seems like they're not actually following through. Not bad. And I think it's time to start investing in a little bit more infrastructure. Has Synergy ever made a mod where the hybrid are actually strong? I don't think so. He's made the bosses stronger in the randomizer at my request which I think was really cool. But I don't think the hybrid themselves... I guess Mar was stronger, and he's technically a hybrid. But I know that's not quite what you were asking. I wish they were, though. I'm going to have three shields soon. The armor upgrades are the least important, because theoretically I should be restoring a lot more shields than I'm taking whole damage. Get rid of that. Get another spotter pylon up. And I think I want to be maxed before I push anywhere else. Thank you, Secret Missile. Nine Gate seems like enough. Put a spotter pylon over here. It does waste 100 minerals, but if it saves more than 100 minerals of damage from me being in position, then it is worth it. All it has to do is save a stalker. Actually, this could be a good time to push. I'm going to hold this off, and then I'm going to pressure the enemy, I think, on this bottom area. Let's see how big this attack wave is, though. So, I do know that on this mission, the enemy seems to scout and react to your composition with their attack waves over time. Because eventually, they're going to be mass ultralisk immortal. That's just, like, all that they send. And it's insane. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to give this next one a go. Yeah, one thing you guys got to get used to when you're talking to Synergy is he says no to all your good ideas. I just murdered them. The better the idea, the higher chance that he's going to report you to the YouTube authorities for a violation of his human rights. Double tank is pretty scary. back for a sec, but they just keep respawning. Can we talk about how many units are spawning here? What do I even do? I literally can't kill the units faster than they spawn. I guess it's just blink and attack the objective to kill the spawner. But even this is so costly. Ow. Well, I did it. Do I have to reset? I mean, reload from that last save. <sighs> this is why the host is so hard is, I mean, that was stick number two. Stick number three is going to be worse. I'm not going to take a third base. What I am going to do is because I need a big army. Is... I'm just going to chill out here. This is not properly saturated. That is one thing to pay attention to. But having three bases worth of workers means that I'm not going to be able to have a big enough army ever. I guess I can clear up this little area. Oh, attack wave. That was okay timing, I guess. Freaking long rockets on the banshees, though, that follow you after you blink are really annoying. Our pylon is under attack. Let's try to poke over here to distract the zerglings so they don't kill my base. That's a lot of auto turrets. My supply is going back up again. But I still just feel so bad. We do have to clear this area up now that the rifts are gone, so I might as well do that now. Here. They just have Mass Overseer now? Perfect. <sighs> what do I do? It's on 100 stalkers to each shard. I think you're vastly... I mean, 100 stalkers... <laughs> don't know if it's enough. Yeah, I need multiple waves. I'm not sure. 
so I have, back when I was testing this, I, like, to make sure that this run was possible, I tried it, and I couldn't kill these two. I just couldn't. And we're gonna see if I can come up with something better. I'm not waiting. What? <laughs> I'm trying to clear. <laughs> I don't know how you could consider what I'm doing waiting. So one of the things about the allies is that they are pretty garbage, which means if I'm going to save them for a push, it is correct to not rescue them until the last area. So that I can get them to all do their big push. It's kind of like the final heart of the swarm mission where they send one really good attack when you rescue them and then it's just a pile of garbage after that. So it has to be coordinated. Probably Phoenix and Vorazun at the same time. Hello. Hope I don't lose my main. Not that I really get a say in the matter. Oh yeah, when I said it was like Siege Tank Immortal Ultralisk, it's actually Aberration Immortal Siege Tank, isn't it? I remember now. The Ultra would take up too much room. Thirty-two, forty, forty-eight, fifty-six, sixty-four. No, only fifty-six. There we go. I don't think you can block them up on this mission because they don't build units past a certain point. Unlike Heart of the Swarm, where they have an automatic spawner function. Oh, I thought that was a good idea. Just blink. I really wish that the top bar didn't exist. <laughs> it's just a liability. So until I'm actually defending that base, I guess I can't do anything. Is that an attack wave? Cool. How scary. Let's try to take this area up here, I guess. We've defended attack waves, so this is the time. Because it seems to take about an entire attack wave to get over. Another wave of void entities is on approach, Hierarch. Okay. I am here in the shadows. Mineral field depleted. State I am here in the shadows. For the reckoning. I am here in the shadows. No, I did not instinctively use F2. I was moving my mouse up and clicked on Orbital Strike because it's taking up the area. My F2 is bound to F6. <laughs> my hand is nowhere near it because I intentionally don't want to use it. Yeah, that's a fine little attack wave you got there, Amon. Well, there goes about 20 supply. This challenge might be easier if I was allowed to build, like, Mass Corsair first and then trick the enemy into thinking I was going air and then win with Stalkers so they'd send, I don't know, a bunch of Phoenixes at me or something. Cloud, so I need to pull back for a sec. No musks. How many ravens do they have? Come on. 
And why do they all have full energy? Should I dive this? Maybe. I think that's the cleanest way to do it, and it's not clean. But that's only like 50 supply that I lost. Which at this point seems okay. And I'm not mined out on any bases yet, so... I'm gonna have multiple tries. Eh, okay, this base is almost mined out. I want to mine from this top area first, though, because the AI doesn't send attack waves against it, really. Uh, well, cool. This is the thing. They adapt to anti-armored, which means that they clear through my structures so quickly, and I have no way to stop them. Because I have to be out on the map doing stuff. I mean, I, okay, so I don't actually know if they adapt to the composition, but I can't look at Aberration Siege Tank Immortal and be like, yeah, they're probably not adapting to this. It is definitely the, what is the Protoss Anti-Armored Unit, the Terran Anti-Armored Unit, and the Zerg Anti-Armored Unit. Which I think actually makes this mission harder than the other ones. Because the final mission doesn't adapt to your composition at all, it just sends a bunch of garbage. I think it's one of the reasons the host is a cool mission though. Because it is a really good oh come on. And prove your existence is without meaning. You shall be expunged. This is so expensive to lose. Sensors are detecting a large group of void entities moving against I'm our almost out of two bases. And this is going to be two attack waves at once. And we have to get over here to defend. They're coming downwards. Sure. Oh gosh, I lost so many pylons. That's like a whole base worth of pylons. They have Archons when you go Void Ray, so they probably go for Splash then. That makes sense. Mutas are okay. Brute Lords are not. I guess it's time to take this base and defend it forever. This is Scout Pylon. How does he go mass probes? Wouldn't it be funny if they just massed workers in response? They're just like, okay, he's got the probes. We're going to send an infinite number of SCVs at him. So I have to build up again. Oh, yep. All right, this is fully mined out. I guess I'm gonna long distance mine to get the rest of the money here while I am waiting. Because every dollar is gonna count. And I'm officially halfway done mining. These bases have a lot of money, but not like a lot, a lot of money. Why, I mean, it's only $75 to get the gas geysers. It's not like it's going to make the difference. If I lose by exactly one stalker, then sure, but... 
it's an auto gas, so I can't. I can't justify not getting it on a four base game. Particularly because the gas guys are going to mine out before my minerals. And I had a time once that I ran out of minerals instead of gas. Or rather, I ran out of gas instead of minerals, so. Why am I calling Minerals Dollars? Because I don't understand StarCraft nomenclature. I've never played the game before. I am here in the shadows. This is my first time. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend any of you StarCrafters. I but I think you should be more inclusive to new people in your community. You like me. StarCraftians? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, don't. Don't ban me. Gonna be blacklisted from everything now. <laughs> it just attacks so much. Give me like 30 seconds, dude. You're such a jerk face. Freaking oracles! They killed all my workers! Oh, man. That sucks. I was not that far away, and just everything dies. Oh, Amon's attacking again, great. Another wave of void entities is incoming. Kill my void pylon. I am the voice of you. Let's create the Great Wall of Stalkers. on top of the Liberator. Okay. Now I have to head down here because I know they're going to send another attack wave. That's how it goes. So I'm thinking that what I might want to do here is free these two and push up here with them. Did the Seeker Missile change from here in Hots? Yeah, it did. So the Seeker Missile was originally that really slow thing. And then I believe, was it Heart of the Swarm that they changed it to be, oh gosh, what does it do now? Oh, it, uh, they changed it so that instead of just really slowly following you, it would really slowly move forward. Or it would sit there for a bit and then it would move really quickly. That's how it goes. And I think that was a Heart of the Swarm change or maybe Legacy of the Void. And then eventually they just got rid of it because it was a bad ability. How many more of these do I want? Probably this many. That brings me up to 8 gate. So my plan now is defend, clear clear, simultaneous attack up here, and hope that I can kill it. If I can't, I don't know, I think I'm just dead. You are going to attack me, right? Oh yeah, they turned into Armor Shredder Missile technically. So now it just fires a really fast missile that does damage reduction in an area. Yeah, I'll save. That's a good idea. How much money do I have remaining? Quite a bit. Probably enough for one more maxed out army. This is about... Oh, here they are. Time to go. The solar cook, you were right. I do need to shave. I haven't done it in a while because I'm lazy. Cold is the 
So I think actually the way to do this is clear 99% of these areas, then go back and defend an attack wave at the south, and then unleash both of them. I don't know, I think that if I leave one barracks alive, it's okay. And they won't spawn. Cool. I'm gonna save because I don't know if I'm gonna lose this. I have an attack probe? Where? Are you sure? Oh, AFK probe. Uh, yeah, he was doing his thing. He's the reserves. You know, you don't want to... Yeah, that's why I saved. <laughs> the South is just so aggressive. <sighs> run, run, run. get into position. This bank, though, is making me pretty happy. Obviously, the gas is not that useful, but 3,000 minerals? Pretty decent. Only one unit lost there. Now we head up. Oh, it's another Amon attack wave. Why are these even, like, programmed at the 48-minute mark? Why do they expect people to get to this... <laughs> AFK probe is back. That's why he's AFK. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of tanks. Kill them before they siege. I think this means it'll be a good timing, though, against the north, after we defend whatever south attack wave there is. I keep saying it not to, like, remind you guys, but to remind me to not capture this right now, just in case that's confusing. I have to, otherwise I will just go on autopilot and I'll capture it and then they'll attack me at the south, I'll lose my base and I'll be really upset and I'll be like, I said that I shouldn't do that, I said I should do it this way, but I didn't. Everyone will be like, yeah, Grant's an idiot. And I'll be like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. No, what? <sighs> Talendar, you jerk. I'm reloading because I can't. This has to go perfectly or I'm dead. There's no no other option. We just head down here and defend. Then we head up here and defend. And then we kill this. Game 1 1 hour, 8 minutes and 41 seconds. Game 2, 4 minutes and 49 seconds. Let me guess. Neeb won game 1 and Scarlet won game 2. You won them both. Ah. Did Scarlet 12 pull or did she Ling Flood? Those are the two options. Oh. Neeb can Glaive all in? Is that legal? I thought it was in his... I thought it was in his contract that he couldn't do that. Huh. The boy's learning. Yeah, usually a four minute Neeb win means that he held them all in. <laughs> Siege tanks. I hate this. I hate this so much. Be nice to me, game.
For anyone who doesn't know, Neeb was the original best foreigner. Not like original original, but the first time that we could say that he was the first foreigner to... I think he's still the only non-Korean to win a Korean tournament. And that's impressive. Cyril can't say he's done that. Okay, we need to not kill Hilbert the Corrupter this time. Oh, AFK problem. I'm gonna leave you. Get out of here, Hilbert. Oh, the spire. <laughs> the spire doesn't count as an enemy building. Of course it doesn't. You're right, Gur won an OSL. Like 20 years ago. So that's why I was confused. Because I thought I left the spire the first time and then I assumed I had killed it. When things went awry. I think the way that it works is that there is a zone in the back, and it checks that as long as there's an enemy in that zone, things aren't captured. So what I need to do is make sure that there's something alive in the back area. with the Kronos over here. It's not for any good reason. It's because there's five here and three here, but I have three Kronos. And I like it when things are even. Is that dumb? Yeah. I'm going to pull Phoenix's friends this time. That was a way better fight than last time. Both times were not nearly that good. I'm saving right here. The reason I didn't save after the fight last time is because it was a really bad fight. And I kind of wanted to restart. <laughs> but this one was great. Yeah, I think you're legitimately correct. It was like 10 more stalkers this time. Kind of like Deathless, where I just need to learn to take these fights individually for this mission. So I'm going to leave the spawning pool alive. Can't leave the lair, because they'll just rebuild everything. I did lose more units over here by three, but... That's fine. I am here in the shadows. Cold. Yeah, you're exactly correct, fake Mr. HD. I am the voice of the eclipse. We gotta time these two out to be best friends. Very wise. I am the heart of darkness. Do I want more gateways, or is that just gonna bleed me dry of money? So we know the attack is coming. It's always coming. I heard something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Come on. You're always here to counterattack me. I know it's your favorite thing. Don't you want to... Like old times? Send your army to get killed by my stalkers at the south base? Please. There we go. I'm hoping that helped siege up a tank. That's why I was actually sending that guy up there. I mean, it was to spot as well. I think it worked. So we're going to attack move up here, attack move over here. You require my skills. I am the heart of darkness. I am the voice. State thy bid. I am the voice. State thy bidding. 
You haven't seen the series until now. What did you miss? Uh, Stalkers. Just a couple Stalkers. Well done, Hyra. My Nerezim are establishing a position now. Let's go. Establishing purifier fortifications now. We follow you. I mean, there's not much else to say. You miss Stalkers. I take offense to that. The first mission was only 50 minutes long. Or no, I guess the, fir I, the first mission today was 50 minutes long. That is incorrect. For Ire was definitely an hour long, yes. The carrier mission took me about that long too, a little bit longer. Okay, now we follow our AI allies to victory. Oh no, okay, we're gonna lose this base. And straight for our next point, Hyrock. Nothing is working. Do we just push? See if we can make a miracle happen? I saved the probes. Maybe they'll go home. All the energizers are dead already? And Vorzun's <laughs> How do I do this mission? If I just dive everything and target the objective, will it die? Approaching them will be extremely dangerous. Just like two hundred supply. No. I don't, I legitimately don't know if this mission is possible. Stalker, <laughs> the infinite respawning in tandem with everything else. I guess I need to wait. Focus, don't even blink. If I don't blink, I'm not winning. You require my skills. So I have to... <sighs> I don't even... Stay what do we do? What do we do? I don't have much time, though, because the only thing that I left over here was a spawning pool, and the creep has receded, so it's slowly bleeding out, which means that Phoenix is going to rescue himself eventually. So I can't time this out the way that I want to. You require my skills. But I do need to wait for that uh, choreographed attack wave. But then, uh, they attack on both sides. I'm, here in the shadows. I'm gonna clear this area. Because... No, you can't slowly push because the enemies infinitely respawn faster than the stalkers can kill them at the areas. So this will stop Vorzun from doing the big dum dum. Hopefully they'll both attack up. Yeah, this is a pretty decent save point. I've got the money. I'm gonna make more gates. That way I could remax really quickly. Because I have a lot of money in the bank. So I can warp in 32 supply at a time. Break the cycle of the Zelnaga. This is actually one of the easy attack waves. Heading straight for our next point, Killed two supply. I, I am the heart of then we intercept the Void Force. The then we rescue Phoenix Vorazun.
Please work. Please work. Let's get a pylon right here to help the reinforcements. How's this? Oh, it's almost dead on its own. We're going to wait a sec because Vorzoon's got a longer rally. One, two, three, four, five. Establishing purifier fortifications now. Perfect. Now we just have to make sure that we can kill stuff before they send another attack wave over here to kill my base. not gonna work this base is dead i feel it i know there's an attack wave that's ready and waiting about to kill me vorzun go up vorzun why are you such a dumb lady i hate her where's she even going So this is all going to be about the Energizer, then. Can the Energizer give me the push that I need to be able to bust everything with that 50% attack speed increase? Terry says no. Terry. Phoenix is the best character in StarCraft. I love him. Why did you not vote for him, guys? Victory nears, my brothers. Fight with all you have. What an amazing character. One more. For the reckoning. Phoenix is my waifu. He saved my life. -u. If you disagree with me, I'll give you the knife. -u. Yeah, I guess I'll save. Yeah, we're gonna get Alarak next. He'll help. I don't know how good he'll be. I actually think that maybe the correct way to play Alarak is to rescue him and then push the other side while he's distracting the enemy and try to snipe the shard. I think that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, good luck with that, Vorazun. You couldn't figure out which way to go. go and I guess they're all going to push the final area now, aren't they? This could be the way that I find victory. Okay, that's a lot of Protoss. Kind of thought it'd be lighter defense. Oh, okay, Siege Tank's cool. That's not Protoss, it's fine. Where's Phoenix going? Why is he going to the top still? Phoenix, there's not an objective up there. Well, darn. He was so excited about the praise from earlier that he's just doing it again. Oh. Is I gotta get ready to go now? Oh, here's an attack wave. I'm going to try my strat. The sneaky counter attack while Alarak distracts strat. Yeah, that's what my brain has been recently sending. Let's give this a go. How much did Vorazun clear over here? Not much. Cool. Thank you, Vorazun. This is it, brothers. All of our hopes rest upon this moment. How much distraction is he doing? Not much. If I can at least do whole damage here. I can make a new army. Come on! Oh, goodness.
We gotta go quick. This is why we have 16 gateways. Come on. <laughs> no, I can't send the probes because probes aren't stalkers. I know, it's surprising. We're gonna go. The extra two stalkers that I could get are not gonna be worth it. Vorzoon? Yeah, do your thing, I don't care. Get. Wrecked, stupid stick. Yeah. <sighs> that is a almost mined out host. Ace, you didn't count the reloads, so I think you're wrong. <laughs> they didn't get to reload for replay. Yeah, fire your stupid laser, please. Make me feel good about myself. Templar, unleash, unleash the furries! How long was it? One hour, three minutes, 45 seconds, or 35 seconds. <laughs>